one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Don't go charging off like that. We're not done. Stay away from the fight. Try this. 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 I'm sure I can put this to use. Normally, I don't pick on the wheel. You're mine! Here I go! It's so You're fast. mine! Dragon! Good job! Not Take this! Ready. Rising Wyvern! I'm not done! Here I go! Take aim and blast it out of the sky! It's so fast! <laughs> Quit pushing yourself and get behind us! I'll be right as rain in no time! Hear me! Flame of fury! It's over! Swarm of blade! Rising water! I'm not done! This one's all mine! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart from your heart's content. I can't imagine there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renan's surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renan's. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. That's why the world needs people like us. <laughs> Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. Don't get 
careless. Don't tell me. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. What is this place, anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before, either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully, there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. You're mine! You're finished! What you do? Rising Wyvern! No escape! I'm sure I can put this to use. Don't get careless! Don't tell me! My precision improving. Let me know if you're struggling.
bad feeling about it. Take a look at that. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. I misread the landing. I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. We don't have much choice. Should probably do something about like that. This is it. Dig deep. Easier said than done. No excuses. Okay. Here this I is go. up to us. Move. I'm on it. Here comes a big one. Tell it. You're fine. Touch. Go. 
Everyone still in one piece? And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> This one's tough! What are you doing? Barely a blip on our radar.
together. That wasn't even a problem. Too much healing. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans. Yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is, we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all, in spite of their technical advantage, has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? 
We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? What's this thing? Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Don't go charging off like that. Rising Arbor! Blast door! Tusk Cannon! Don't let them form a pack! Here I come! It's over! I'll run you through! Formal Blade! Pack coming! Take Helen's door! This one's all mine! I'm not done! That was almost too easy! I notice the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. Used a bit too much healing. Don't get careless. You're mine. Don't Come tell on. me. Swallow me. Tell him. You're oh, mine. I'm ready. Touch him. You're mine. Do it. Rising down. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on You're in that game. My lady, something you wanted to say? I'm not done! Here, do it! You're on! I can feel my power growing! We should think about eating soon. Really? Not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. Uh, yeah, good idea. Give you. Here I come. One more. Uh, I'm on rising water. Yeah. It's over. How is it? Airborne beast. My escape. got fire storm. I've got this. Hurrah. Let a mark. One hit. final push. Right. All yours. Yeah. Now I'm on that loop. Yeah. You're finished. Hit time. I'm sure I can put this to use. An opponent like this should be easy. Right. Not today! You're mine! It's over! It's over! Rising Wyvern! It's over! 
I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed.